I just wanted to come by to uh, welcome you all to the, uh, to the State House. There are many friends here. There are a couple of critics as I look around uh, uh, as well. And a whole lot of folks who are feeling anxious about the enormous amount of change happening in the medical uh, field today. I will tell you first of all um, that I honor the field. I honor those of you who do so much to care for so many people so beautifully. Um, I am standing erect here today in part because Dr. Harry Rubash, who was here, um, replaced my hip and I was the biggest baby um, he's ever had as a patient, but he was brilliant uh, about it and, uh, and I feel great, Harry, and thank you for, uh, uh, for that. <laughs> we are... Um, we are all of us, um, I think, thankful uh, and I think also proud of the fact that um, we have served as a model for universal care around the country. 98% of our residents, excuse me, yes, of our residents. I say residents. You hear residents a different way than I say it. <laughs> residents meaning people who reside in the Commonwealth. 98% uh, of our residents have health insurance today. 99.8% of children, no other state in America can touch that. You help make that possible. Our next big challenge is how we figure out uh, how to manage costs because they are going up faster than uh, the cost of, uh, of uh, well, than the rate of inflation. In fact, faster um, than national um, uh, 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 medical cost inflation. And you know, as I've had folks around the table for the last two or three years talking about this, the responses to my question: Why is this happening? And Alice has heard me say this so many times. <laughs> Why is this happening? The response always begins the same way. Governor, it's complicated. And then folks start to do this. The insurers point to the hospitals, the hospitals point to the doctor practices, the doctor practices point to the imaging facilities and what have you. And somehow or other, the complexity of it all has defeated us for a long, long time. It has to stop defeating us. We have to stop looking for blame and start finding solutions. Because it turns out that, um, at least in the conversations I've had with many, many of you and your colleagues, that more integrated care mm. is a higher quality of care and a more cost-effective care. And we have to figure out how to deliver that everywhere around the Commonwealth and to move in that transition equitably. Now, I love watching the expressions as I say this. I see you looking across the table and the furtive glances you're casting and the little winks and nods. Um, let me tell you, we are going here to integrated, accountable care organizations. We are going there together. Alice has been at the table helping us sort that out, see where some of the pitfalls are. She and many of her colleagues talk with her, talk with us. We have got to deliver on what is ultimately a values statement. Mm. And that is that health is a public good. And that everyone in this commonwealth deserves access mm. to adequate, cost-effective care. And I look forward to working on that with all of you. Welcome to the State House. I hope you have a wonderful visit today. Alice, thank you. <laughs> You've heard from the governor and uh, now you'll hear from someone who has a little bit of a different point of view. Um, obviously, you know, we're, we're uh, extremely interested in the plan that the governor put forward. But it is just a starting point. Uh, right now we have a new chairman of healthcare finance and policy that is, is getting up to speed. And we will be tackling this, this, this problem. Um, sometime, but I don't think we're on the same timetable as the governor. I think that, that we're going to take a little bit more time. We're trying to touch base with everyone involved in this to get positions and to, to stake out some, some clear paths that we think will, will make, a, make an improvement and not be a hindrance. So we're going to go a little bit slower. Um, and I guess that's my message to you today as you move around the building. 
um, and you bump into representatives. Uh, what the Senate does is another story. We're not entirely sure what the Senate is going to do, but we will be conducting a series of hearings because we're concerned about the any changes in how it affects the whole state of Massachusetts. Western Mass has had, had some difficulty with access issues, and we're very concerned about that. We want to make sure that whatever we do, we don't make any situation worse than it already is. So again, um, <laughs> thank God the governor left. Uh, <laughs> so again, Welcome to the State House, uh, and as you move around, I encourage you to, to run into your representatives, the ones that you can find. Uh, let them understand your concerns. Make them understand your concerns. Um, this is an extremely difficult and complicated issue. Not everyone is as versed in this issue as you think they are. So there is an immense task in front of you an educational task in front of you that you have to begin and today's as good a day as any so good luck as you move around the building and talk to your representatives welcome <laughs>